Yes, a car battery can run out while you're driving. If the car battery dies while you are driving and the alternator is running, you might not notice it is dead until you turn off the engine. The car won't turn over even when you try to restart it. The vehicle will shut off while in motion if the alternator malfunctions and is unable to charge the battery. The alternator failing to charge the battery or the battery being too dead to sustain a charge would be the only reasons the car would not start. You ought to receive plenty of notice that the charging system isn't functioning before that occurs. Here are a few signs to be aware of. Frequent stalling. Trouble starting the car. Dimming headlights. Battery warning light is on the dashboard. Burning smell. You might be able to find a better place to pull over or get the car home before you get stuck if you see any of the warning signs. In this video, we examine whether car batteries can die and explain why the alternator may be the real issue for you. To keep you safe, we also demonstrate what to do in the event that the battery dies while you are operating a vehicle. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. The alternator is more likely to blame. It's normal to believe that a new battery will solve the problem when the car battery runs out. That would be accurate in certain situations, but not usually if the vehicle breaks down while you are driving. It is likely that you have a malfunctioning alternator in this situation. When the engine is running, the car alternator generates voltage to charge the battery. It resembles a generator. It also provides electricity to the vehicle's accessories when the engine is running. Consequently, as long as the alternator is still operating, your car and its features will still be able to function even in the event of a dead battery. Many people replace their car battery because they believe it to be dead, even though this is not the case. Drivers discover the alternator was the source of the problem all along when their brand new battery runs out of power during its charge. What to do? It's critical to maintain composure if your car battery dies while you're driving and you need to act quickly. Here are some actions to take into account. Try to restart your car. You should stop in a safe area first and foremost. Finding a safe parking spot is crucial as soon as you realize your car is dying. It's likely that the power brakes and steering have been removed, making it harder to control the car. In order to alert other drivers to your problems, you should also turn on your emergency hazard lights. Try to start the engine again after you are safely off the road. You might be able to restart the car if the alternator and battery aren't the problem. Proceed to the next step if the engine won't start. Check the charging system. The alternator has to be checked next. Numerous auto parts stores provide complimentary alternator testing if you lack the necessary tools or knowledge. If you want to test the alternator on your own, here are some steps you might want to consider. Select voltage on the multimeter. Set the voltage to 20 DC volts. Simply choose DC volts if there are no incremental settings available. Make contact with the relevant battery terminals on each probe. Positive should reach positive and negative should touch negative. The terminals are located under the hood even if the battery isn't readily accessible. Examine the vehicle's battery. The recommended voltage range is 12.4 to 12.6 volts. You might have a defective battery if it is less than this. Turn on the vehicle's engine. Utilizing the same sources, take another reading. The voltage should be in the range of 14.0 to 14.5 while the alternator is operating. Anything less than this suggests that not enough power is being supplied by the alternator. In the event that the voltage exceeds 16.5 volts, a malfunction must also be addressed. Frequently, the dashboard's battery warning light will indicate that the alternator has failed. Test the battery health. Testing the car battery is not all that different. As with the alternator test, you will employ the same instruments and strategies. You know there is already a charge in it because you have your original reading from when the car was turned off. Conducting a load test is a good idea following the initial check. Here are a few actions to think about. Turn on the headlights for two minutes while the ignition is off. This procedure aids in the battery's surface charge removal. You should get a new battery if this one can no longer power the device. After two minutes, if the headlights are still on, switch them off. Reconnect your multimeter. The reading ought to resemble the initial measurement following headlight operation. It shouldn't differ significantly. It's a good idea to visually inspect the vehicle battery as well. Seek for any bulges or cracks in the battery cabinet. It is best to replace the case if you find any problems with it. But if corrosion is the only thing causing the issue and a poor connection, you can remove it using baking soda and water. Replace the battery. You should replace the vehicle battery if it doesn't pass the inspection. Car batteries typically only have a 3-5 to five year lifespan. If you've been rough on the battery, it might die before its time. Furthermore, you must replace the alternator if it isn't functioning, but the battery is okay. The alternator may last up to 100,000 miles on average, so you shouldn't have to deal with it too frequently. Contact a professional. It's never easy to deal with the battery and charging system. To understand it, you do need to have some expertise. Even though many of the tests only require basic equipment, it doesn't make sense to stress yourself out if they seem too difficult. Find a trustworthy mechanic in your area instead. A skilled technician should be able to diagnose the issue in no more than an hour. 
Following that, you'll be able to obtain a detailed estimate that will indicate the cost of the repair. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.